This is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So a small change happened in Selenium 4.8.0. Uh, you can see the change log. You can go to selenium.dev and the recent version of Selenium with all the language bindings which is available. Uh, that is the version number is 4.8.0 and uh, you go to selenium.dev any specific language that you are using you can just go and check it over there. Simple go to downloads folder. And here you can see the latest stable version for Selenium Grid that is 4.8.0. For iDriver also 4.8.0 that they have, you can download it here. And the language specific uh, binding also you can download. So see they maintain all the language binding specific version with the same version number 4.8.0 with C Sharp, Ruby, Java, JavaScript and Python. If you're working with Java, if you really want to see what happened with Java, you can just go and check it here. So see recently released, I think today is what? Today is uh, 23rd. So yeah, on 23rd or 24th, actually they released it. And then you just simply uh, click on it. When you click on it, you can download this particular zip file if you really want to download. Otherwise you can see the change log and uh, see these are the changes happened in um, 480, majorly some internal uh, changes supported version like for the CDP version 85, 107, 108, 109 because Selenium supports a new CDP version every time there is a new Chrome updates are available. So latest version of Chrome is uh, 109. So that's what they have to support CDP version also with the latest browser version. And then some internal things are there. Edge driver service using log level string and all such things. So at the client side, not much changes. Couple of changes happened with the JDK HTTP client, full null pointer bug when response body is null and all such things. So you they have given the, the reference number also of that particular bug. If you really want to see, you can go and check it over there. If you really deep dive into uh, that particular bug. But major thing I'll tell you in this video today is that they have given extra thing or deprecated one thing with respect to headless browser. So if here, if you see the deprecated headless for Chrome, and Firefox options means deprecate set headless method they have deprecated from the Chrome and the Firefox options. So let's talk about that. So how exactly you run your test cases in the headless mode. So for example, if you run it this one, this is running in the normal mode. So we have to use the concept of Chrome options. Okay, let's try that and see in my Pomod XML file, I'm using 472. I have not upgraded to 480. I'm still using the one older version that is 472 that is what i'm using so i'll do one thing i simple create this class chrome options class object co uh, is equal to new chrome options okay before launching driver equal to new chrome options so before launching driver equal to new chrome driver i'm creating the object of chrome option and then you just need to import that so let's uh, chrome options we have to import so let's import this Okay, so import is done. And now what we have to do, we have to, we used to have this method set headless method. You can see set headless method and here you can pass true or false. So if I'm passing true here and then I'm passing the CO object reference to the constructor of the Chrome driver, this will start running the test cases in the headless mode. And let's say I'm launching one application here and then I'm writing system dot out print Allen. And let's say I'm just printing a driver dot uh, get current URL as well as I'm printing the title of the page as well. So I'm writing let's see driver dot uh, get title method and then once it is done, I simply driver dot quit method. Okay, and then I'm going to launch the application in the headless mode. So this program will run the test cases in the headless mode. So simple run as Java application. And here you can see that browser is getting launched, but there is no browser. See, there is no browser is getting open. Perfect. And you can see the URL and the title of the page is absolutely working fine. It's coming and then fine. But now I'll do one thing. I'm just going to upgrade my Selenium version to 4.8.0, right? Same thing if you see on the Maven also. So let's go to a Selenium Maven site. Let's open a new tab and I'm writing Selenium Maven and go to the Maven repository. So the latest version here, you can see 480 recently released on January 23rd here. And the last version we are using 472 and 480, they have actually deprecated set headless method. So I'll do one thing. I'll just take this version. You can see 480. So I'll do one thing. I'll just manually update it here. 4.8.0. 
perfect and then simple save your pomid xml file and here you can see it is building the project and now i got the latest selenium jar files what you do you right click on your project once go to simple maven and update the project also so that you will get the latest dependencies here and then you just cross check under maven dependency section you will see that 480 is available here can you see 480 is here okay now we will see this method again go back here and then here this method is saying a deprecated warning can you see if this method is not i would say it's still valid but you should not use it you should not use the deprecated methods because it's clearly giving a deprecated warning and that's why if you go to the official documentation also it's they have added this particular tag at the rate deprecated and it's saying that this method is deprecated and they have given this documentation recommend to use hyphen hyphen headless is equal to chrome as argument for browser version from 94 to 108 if you are using uh, as argument for browser 109 plus then in that case you have to use hyphen hyphen headless is equal to new you have to use it for example add argument method we have to use it here right so i'll do one thing i remove this or i comment it out and i do one thing i simply write co dot add arguments method here we have to write it in double code we have to pass hyphen hyphen see the documentation what exactly they have given the documentation that they have given you can pass hyphen hyphen headless is equal to chrome if your browser version is between 94 to 108 so let's see my browser version so i'll do one thing i'll go to chrome and about google chrome my browser version is 109 can you see this this one so it's saying that for if you're using browser 109 plus you can go with this headless equal to uh, new or 109 or 109 plus so let's try with this headless is equal to new i have to use it copy this argument and uh, go back here and then simple paste it here okay so now don't use set headless if you're already using it for the headless and upgrading to 480 you will get start getting this a warning here now i'm going to run it and let's see so right click run as java application and see browser is not getting launched and it's running in the headless mode we should get the current url and the title also in some time so here you can see current url and the title and everything will remain same now let's try with the other option also the second option that is given that is uh, headless hyphen hyphen headless equal to chrome let's try that as well so let's see i'm still using 109 but hyphen hyphen headless equal to chrome you have to use it up to 108 but let's see this is really picking or not so sometime it might pick also that's that's okay if it is picking but we will follow whatever is there in the documentation but see here it's not giving you any error and we should see we are getting the title and the url everything we are getting it so either of them you can use it but follow the documentation whatever it's the instructions are given here you can use it here like this now sometimes you must have seen that what if i don't want to use headless equal to equal to chrome or something if you simple pass hyphen hyphen headless also this is also fine okay so i'm just going to run it and then see this see i'm just passing hyphen hyphen headless this is also fine and then it should give you the title and the url so this is also you can use it so all the options you can use it guys that's okay but don't use co.set headless same thing you can check it with the firefox options also right so i'll write it for you guys from four from 4.0.8 onwards three options you can use it you can directly use hyphen hyphen headless that also you can use it you can write hyphen hyphen headless is equal to a new that also fine this is headless and if you want to use hyphen hyphen headless is equal to chrome that is also fine these are the things that they have given here and then uh, this will work for one version 908 and this will work for with 901 plus 109 plus okay remember this thing same thing you can check it with the firefox also let's try with the firefox as well i think i don't have firefox the by the way this is an, a different laptop but you can check it with the firefox also guys later on okay with the same firefox option you have to use it here 
So I'll do one thing. I'll go back to let's see four seven two. See the moment I use four seven two, and then I'll come back over here. This warning and deprecated warning will be gone. See, I'm just the moment I'm going to save this POM XML file. I'm saving it again back to four seven two, and this deprecated warning. Let me just close it and let me just uh, come back here and then see this co dot set headless. It's not giving any warning or something. You open it and there is no deprecated warning comment also no annotation nothing is available over here so this is just a small change happened with respect to headless and uh, just start using it this one okay so you should not get a surprise that okay suddenly what happened maybe you missed the change log what happened with the 408 so at the client side this is a simple change happened you can just simple go and then check it over there okay so other than that, there are no major changes. I don't see much changes here that with grid remove translations of non W3C locators, fake bug decorated web driver, not calling the listeners. Okay. But it's difficult to reproduce these bug. And I think they have already fixed it internally. So that all those things are not that important as of now, but I think I thought of covering this point. So just simple, good to. Okay. And remember after 472, there is no 473. It's directly 4.8.0 actually. So you have to upgrade in your POM file 480 or any changes that you are using with respect to any specific language. You can go and check it over here. Let's check with the, let's see with the Python, any change log, did they make any changes? So see 480, this is what they have given over here. Deprecated headless property for Chromium and Firefox option. In Python, all the same change they have done. Let's check with the, some other library. Let's see, check with the C sharp library. Let's go to the change log. And here you can see that uh, this one, this one, but here they don't have any changes with respect with respect to set headless. So I think uh, for C sharp, I never tested, but for .NET, I never tested, but you can check it if you're using uh, .NET and C sharp. Let's check with the same thing with the uh, uh, Ruby. And uh, with Ruby also see this, these are the major changes happened with respect to Ruby and uh, here, you can see that created Chromium superclass for Chrome and Edge. Now they have implemented the Chromium superclass for Chrome and Edge in, in Ruby. And uh, this is fine. This is fine. Deprecated all supported capabilities for local browser method and the capabilities. See deprecated headless for Chrome and Firefox. Here also they have added like this. So please go through the change log and then whatever the language that you're using, update your code accordingly as per the official documentation. That's all for this video. I hope you like it. Please subscribe to the channel. Share this video with others so that other people also will get to know about what happened with the latest version of Selenium.